Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Matt, and thanks for stopping by the channel. Now, I've got a really cool one for you today. It's the next one in my Dave Hughes Classic American series. This one is the Henryville Special. Now, an interesting backstory on this pattern. It was created by a guy named Hiram Brobst from Palmerton, Pennsylvania. That's just a little bit north of Allentown. Now, the story has it that Hiram was downtown Philly, found an antique store, and found a really old 18th century book on English fly patterns. Now he found some old English sedge patterns in there and saw one of them that he thought would do well on Broadhead Creek. So he changed it up a little bit, tied it up, didn't give the fly a name, called it a no name, and it did really well for him. Now the pattern did great for, I don't know, 10 or 20 years. And a guy named Al Ziegler, who ran the Henryville Lodge, where the fly had been really popular for I don't, maybe 10 years or so, he goes back to Hiram and says, we've got to call this fly something better than the no name. So Hiram says, okay, just call it the Henryville. So Ziegler says, well, we'll call it the Henryville Special. And the fly continued to do great. And it became popular not just in Pennsylvania, but throughout all of the country and probably all over the world. So isn't that one of the coolest things about fly tying? Learning the history of these flies. Uh, you know, some guy a hundred years ago walking around an antique store downtown Philly, found an old pattern book, tied something up that did great in one of his local waters. The fly caught on, they gave it a name. A hundred years later, we're still tying and still fishing this fly. I did find a couple of interesting articles in it. Bill Fink wrote one in 1970 in the Pennsylvania Angler. I'll link to that in the description. And Scott Cesari wrote a pretty cool blog post on it, also linked in the description. So there are no really advanced tying techniques used in tying the Henryville Special, but it's not all that easy, mainly because there's just a lot going on. But with a little practice, I think most anybody can get this one down. And it's a pretty cool looking fly. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So let's give it a shot. There it is in the vise, the Henryville Special. I'm gonna be tying this on a size 14. It's a 1X long barbless dry fly hook. I'm gonna put a base of 70 denier UTC all the way down to the bend. Okay, next component, or the first component we tie in, is gonna be the Grizzly, the dry fly hackle that we're going to palmer up. So I will pick a size, usually, a maybe one size smaller. So this is a, a 14. This is probably a size 16 hackle. I'm gonna catch the butt end right there and take my thread back, but not all the way back, just a little bit in front of the where I want the body to start. Put a little wax on and let's get some olive dubbing. Now I'm using super fine. Doesn't take much and we're only going to really just Kind of paint the thread with it. Just, just enough to get your thread that olive color. So my first couple of wraps, no dubbing on the thread, are gonna take me back to where, the, where I want the body to start. Now we just wrap it on up to a good three-fourths of the hook shank. Okay, I think that will work right there. Now let's go ahead and palmer this hackle up. You might wanna take a full wrap on the back before you start taking the open, open wraps. I usually don't worry too much about it and just take some evenly spaced open wraps. It's gonna be four, maybe five to get up to the front. Now I'm gonna catch it off with a couple of securing wraps right here. Let's do one more just, just for good measure before we snip this off. Now the next component, some mallard flank fibers. This is the underwing. See these and you'll want to get a fair sized chunk of them. We'll tie these on just right on the top of the hook. Probably just slightly past the bend of the hook. So work them down in the middle of that hackle. You could trim some of that hackle off the top if you want. I haven't been, and I think it looks better when you don't. It just gives the fly a little more 
body to it. Okay, they're coming off the top. Now, I have been putting a couple wraps underneath and then a couple more over because a couple of these I've done, I've had that flank fiber spin around on me and then it really messes up the, the rest of the fly. So go ahead, snip that off, and I'm going to clean up this head just a little bit before I tie in the overwing. And I'm gonna take it back just a little bit, give me a little more room, make sure those flank fibers have not spun around on me right there, they look pretty good. Now we're gonna do our overwing. Now one tip I use for this, I take the same size hook I'm using, put it in some hackle pliers, and then just it's hard to show right here, but I will put it in there and then pull it down. So that gives me the width of the, the overwing. And we take two for matching, matching duck quills. See that, I think that one's gonna be about right. And you want them just maybe as long as the, the flank fibers, maybe just a little bit shorter. So I think that's gonna work right there. I'm going to switch hands. I'll put a loose wrap over the top. I'm holding it tight with my material hand while I pull down tight. Still holding it pretty tight with my material hand. I'll do that one more time. A loose wrap and now pull tight. Now you can take a look at your, your wings. Do you like them? It's not too late to change them if you, if you want to. So I think those are coming off about like I want. So I'm gonna try, hold these tight, and then just a few more securing wraps right here. Okay, and I think those are gonna be fine. Let's reach in here and snip the front end of this excess off right here. And I'm gonna throw a few more wraps down here just to try to get a, a little bit better of a base and really lock these mallard slips in. But mainly, it's to give me a base to wrap this brown hackle, the main hackle. Now this one, you do want to be sized to the hook. Recall that, well actually, that grizzly hackle there looks a little bit bigger than I thought, but it'll work. It will work. It's not gonna be a perfect fly, it's gonna be a fishing fly. So I stripped off some of the ends from this brown dry fly hackle. I'm gonna put three or four good secure wraps right here. And what I will do, I'll just poke that little piece up so I can get in here and snip it off. Now take my thread back up to close to the eye. That's about where I'm going to um, finish wrapping this, this brown hackle. And I'm gonna take a significant number of wraps here, probably at least four, five if I can get them without crowding the eye too much. And take your time. One wrap right in front of the other and try to get them coming out perpendicular to the shank. I think that's four. I don't want to I don't want to push my luck and try to go five. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure this. Five would have probably really crowded my eye. So that's two wraps right there. I'm gonna go one more in front of it. Don't worry about pushing those forward just yet. We can take care of those and one more in the back. Now, sometimes I will snip off this excess and then go right into my whip finish, but if, if you think you risk that hackle slipping out, go ahead and start to clean up the head before you snip it out. So, I've got a couple there that I'm gonna to have to trim, but that's not bad. So, just a few rogue fibers right here. I'll go ahead and trim these. And I'm gonna go ahead and whip finish before I snip off that excess brown hackle. Four or five turns right there. As long as you don't close off your eye, you'll probably be in pretty good shape. So let's take this, now we can snip off this last piece right there. And if we've got any cleanup, now's the time to do it. Got just a little bit, got a couple strays right there but I can still get my tippet through that eye. So this is a decent fishable fly. A drop of head cement and it's going in the fly box. 
So that's it, everybody. I really appreciate you watching the Henryville special. Pretty cool looking pattern. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.